Hey Cubs, in this video we'll be explaining the rules of capture the flag and how to properly play. Okay. Go to the opposite side and then someone on the other team tags you, you have to go to jail. Save someone from the jail, uh, Bobby has to go across the field. Wrong. And then they have to tag someone, um, and they get only get to save one person at the at a time, and then they have to go all the way back to the other side. You can only save one person at a time. You can capture the flag. You're trying to win, and you gotta get points. So to get a point, you have to run across into the immediate circle. Run. And once you're in the immunity circle, you have to grab the flag and then run across to the other side without getting tagged. Oh. Once you cross back to your side, you score a point and everything resets. In Capture the Flag, we have to keep it safe so there's going to be no tackling, only one hand. So if Lila goes onto that side, Georgia cannot <laughs> tackle Lila. That is not allowed. That would not count. <laughs> Capture the flag. There's something we call the immunity circle or square, where um, if one person from one team gets into the immunity circle, then the defenders on that team cannot enter the area. Um, and Alex can stay there for an unlimited amount of time. If Pearson has the flag and she goes out of the area, um, and then TJ tags her, then Pearson has to put the flag back and go to jail. In Capture the Flag, there is no passing the flag. So if Abby goes out of the circle and right, and right before uh, Lila tags her, she throws it to Jesse. That is not allowed. Not allowed. And the flag has to go back into the area. In Capture the Flag, there is no puppy garden. As you can see, their whole team is guarding the few people in the immunity circle and the few people cannot escape. So no puppy guarding. 